I have startling new information about this video that's been going around the internet. This is Officer Dana Elmore, and she uses excessive force in the unlawful arrest of 24-year-old Micaiah Washington. I've been in contact with Micaiah's attorney, attorney Leroy Maxwell from the Maxwell Tillman Law Firm, and I've received new information that you need to know. But first, let me show you the video in case you haven't seen it. Trigger warning, police brutality. What else? Look how happy she is. Ah. Crazy. It's got to stop. Before I go over what he was charged with after all that, let me give you the two minutes that led up to that video. 24-year-old Micaiah Washington was changing his tire on the side of the road when Officer Dana Elmore approached him in her car. She began asking Micaiah what he was doing, and Micaiah informed her, I'm changing my tire. She asked to see a driver's license. He asked, why do I got to give you my driver's license to change a tire? She asked for more information, multiple times asked for his driver's license. He told her, I don't need to give you my driver's license. I'm just changing my tire. And it was at that point that he pulled his cell phone out to begin recording the interaction. But he never got a chance to because before he could even start recording, she tased him. Upon Her ego tased, got he hurt. Fell to the ground, he fell to the ground and put his hands behind his back and she cuffed him. After cuffing him, she put one foot on his back, standing on his back, and then made what appeared to be a call to another officer. At that point, Micaiah's brother started filming, and that's where the video picks up that you watched. Now, it's very important to note that Officer Dana Elmore did not know Micaiah's brother was filming. As you saw in the video, she put him on the hood, went to his pockets, and found a firearm. She didn't like well, was the question, police. and she began tasing him in the back, as you saw in the video. It's also very important to note that the only thing she pulled out of his pocket in that video was a firearm. So now, knowing that, look what they charged him with. Right here, drug trafficking. Officer Dana Elmore claimed that after pulling the firearm out, she pulled out seven grams of fentanyl. They also charged him with possession of a firearm by a felon. They charged him with simple possession of marijuana, resisting arrest, and obstructing governmental operations. But guess what happened next? The video that Micaiah's brother filmed went viral on the internet. And it was only then that they found out there was a video of the arrest. And it was then mm. that the state's attorney filed a motion to no pros the drug trafficking charge. No pros means yeah. basically they're not going to press those charges. They're dropping the charges. Not the judge, the state's attorney. And let's read the motion, may we? It said the suspected narcotics were seized in connection with the arrest of the defendant. The video shows they were not. Uh, the suspected narcotics were field tested prior to the arrest. Wait a minute. If they seized oh. them during the arrest, how'd they what? field test them prior to the arrest? Because that never happened. But then it says in the motion, further testing has since been conducted that failed to yield a positive result for fentanyl. You know what that means? I firmly believe Quiet. that means they were planning on planting evidence to frame him for drug trafficking. That's my opinion on why they now can't yield a positive yep. result. And because of that, he was under a $500,000 bond. But that has now been null prost. Oh, and the uh, ex-felon in possession of a firearm, he's not a felon. That's not even real. So that's also expected to be null prost. If not null prost, yeah. the judge will drop it anyway. The court's going to dismiss it. He's not a felon. Because of the trafficking charge being gone and the other stuff being no process, Dana his uh, Elmore bond now is only five thousand instead of five hundred thousand that it was before. So to recap, Officer Dana Elmore harassed and brutalized twenty-four-year-old Micaiah Washington simply for changing his tire while black. And I firmly believe they were going to plant evidence yep. on him and charge him with drug trafficking. All charges against Micaiah Washington should be dropped. All. Immediately. And Officer Dana Elmore, who's currently on administrative leave or paid vacation, should be charged with assault and battery and for lying. So here's the call to action. 
email and call the district attorney. We want all charges against Micaiah Washington dropped, and we want charges against Dana Elmore brought up. Now.